Well, welcome back. I have a 1988 BMW 325, friend of mine. Really clean car, actually. Um, it's not charging. Battery's gone dead. I have to jump it every time they start it, so we're going to take a look at it. Uh, I did check the battery, and the battery was pretty dead, so it's been on charger. I charged it back up, got a full charge on it. We're going to test it out and see what we find. The uh, alternator's been replaced in this uh, not too long ago. Uh, doesn't mean that it's not bad, but uh, we're going to take a look and see what we find. We're just going to see if we can start this up. Fully charged battery. I said I had it on a charge overnight. I'm just going to reach in and see if I can start it. Obviously, it starts. Okay, on a little rough. I was told by the owner that it did run a little rough when it's cold, so it's very possible I have an intake leak as well. Well, I'm going to attempt to show you this. Um, I'm going to test right at the battery terminal. Not on the wire, but on the battery terminal at the back of the alternator. And the heavy, heavy red wire goes to that. Now, here you can see I got my lead, my positive lead up, my voltmeter hooked to that. Right to the, basically the stud and the nut on the stud, not to the wire. Negative lead is up here. Let me back you out. I'm so close uh, to a good ground on the engine, going off the intake. And I'm make sure my wires are out of the way so it doesn't get pulled into the belt or anything. Uh, I'm going to show you my voltmeter as I start this up and we'll see what kind of voltage we get. I'm going to set it on a 20 volt. This is actually auto ranging. So it'll auto range itself and get you where you can see that. Right now I have, uh, it says 13 volts. That's battery voltage. So um, that's what I have there. Get that where you can see it. Let me start this up and let's see what we get here. If we get anything. So 13, you see that 14 volts, right? So that alternator is actually charging. It's actually doing what it should do. 14 volts um, right on the back of the alternator. So uh, next, I'm going to go farther down. I might just try to go right to the wire behind that terminal and see if it's dropping right there to see if we're losing uh, voltage. I'm going to try to show you this. My hand might get in the way. What I found immediately, uh, just by reaching down, hopefully you'll be able to see this. My hand might block you from saying it, but can you see that? See it moving? I got my hand like that. It's loose. That terminal is loose. It's not tight. Uh, so, that very well could be what's causing the issue. We're going to uh, tighten that up. I'm going to take it off of there, check it. Tighten it back up. It's definitely loose. I can move it back and forth. That's all it'll take, not to charge correctly. So I'm gonna do that first and let's see what that does. Okay, so I just this is 13 millimeter. I reached uh, after disconnecting the battery, make sure you disconnect the battery first. I reached down in there. It wasn't very tight. I still can't get it loose without a wrench, but I'm just gonna loosen this up. Reach in here, and this might be better with a socket, but I'm just gonna see if I can get it with a ratcheting wrench. Too bad. Just kind of feeling it. Feels okay. It might just be, we're going to find out in a minute, it might just be that this was not tightened all the way. Uh, it doesn't take much. A little bit of corrosion. Or loose terminal uh, is all it takes. This whole thing feels loose to me. Ah, it's nice. So, <laughs> see that? Looks to me like whoever bolted this back on didn't tighten it up. I'm gonna check that too. This should not. This should not move like this. Well, as you can see, I pulled the air box out. Wasn't planning on taking the alternator out, but what I found was this. There's a through bolt underneath the alternator right here. Goes all the way through. I'll show you how it goes. Yeah, um, I know I'm blocking you, but I'll show it to you when I get it in here. So right there, goes all the way through. Reach down here, like that. It's supposed to be a nut on the end of it. Yeah, there was no nut on it. Gone, completely missing, okay? Then you look at this bracket, which mounts to the top. My hand is probably right in your way. Mounts to the top, 
I was on there and adjust it in and out. Completely loose. Never tightened up. Not missing off the bottom of this. Air box, which you have to take off to get down there. All the bolts bolting that in were on, but loose. I, I, I hate when people do a garbage job. Somebody replaced this alternator, didn't put the nut back on, didn't tighten that up, didn't tighten the battery terminal up, and now I've got to, you know, not that I really care that I have to fix it, but this car is in here um, because somebody didn't do their job, uh, basically, and do it well. Um, you know, do, do the job well. You're getting paid to do it. Do it. Uh, so I've got to find a nut, right size for this bolt. Um, which I hopefully will have here somewhere. Dig around, see if I can find one. Find that, put that back together, put the alternator back in, tighten everything up like it wasn't tight, uh, and then I'll check it. Uh, I'll come back when that's done. There's no need in really showing you that. Basically, you just two bolts right here for the air box. You just loosen them up. You can slide it up out of the way, and, you know, disconnect, the, uh, disconnect it from the throttle body here. Okay, alternator's back in. This is tight, the bracket is tight in the front, the bolt in the bottom, through bolt, the through bolt underneath of it now has a nut on it, it's tight, so you can see this is tight. That's how it's supposed to be, it's not supposed to move. I've tightened the, the uh, terminals back up, the wires back on, I'm just going to put the air box in, and then we'll test it. Alright, the back of the car, because the battery's in the back of the car, got my meter hooked up. Obviously the car's running, hopefully you can hear that. 14.35, it looks a whole lot better than it did. So the alternator was fine, it was just uh, loose bolts basically, so the thing wasn't uh, tightened back up like it should have been, and now everything is good. Well that's it, alternator was fine. Uh, I always say test don't guess, you know, you get a reading off the initial battery and it's not charging, just don't assume that it's the alternator that's bad, especially, you know, ever, but this is a new replacement alternator, it's only been in there for a couple months doesn't mean that the new alternator is going to be good. Uh, sometimes you get that as well. But the problem was somebody didn't do their job. And you, get, you got to hear me go on a little bit of a rant. And I try not to do that too much, but it's kind of a gift of mine. Um, this is, you know, not a mistake. Uh, it's a mistake if one bolt, forget to tighten one bolt, which you shouldn't do, or something comes undone or vibrates loose. Every single bolt that needed to be done and removed to do this job, to replace this alternator, was not tight. It just wasn't tightened up. They were in a hurry. Uh, a nut missing off a through bolt underneath the alternator. The bracket not tightened up. The air box not tightened up. Uh, the terminal on the back of the alternator not tightened up. And you saw the difference. Once those things were put back in place, go and check the battery. 14.4 volts. It's charging fine. Not a problem. Uh, always test. Always. T I don't know how, you know, Test. Don't guess. You just don't throw parts and stuff. This is a pretty expensive part if you just said, oh, the alternator's bad. Uh, so if you have to do this or you have to test an alternator, maybe this helps you out. I hope it does. If you like the video, subscribe below. Thanks for watching.